Kyrie King in two, Cameron Miller three, Robert Gregory in four, Benarek in five, Arian Knighton in six, Coleman in seven, Lindsay in eight, and on the outside, the 100-meter world champion, Fred Curley. Don't be surprised if Arian Knighton, the 19-year-old, causes a sensation here. <laughs> He's already a sensation. <laughs> <laughs> there he is right there. He's not daunted by the big names anymore because he's a big name. Yeah. Toyota Men's 200, it's the final for a national championship. Christian Coleman leads off the four by one for the USA and he has forged a nice lead. But here comes Aria Knighton and Benarik. Benarik with the headband on, Knighton in between them. Look on the outside in white, here comes Fred. Is his run too late? Knighton is leading the way. Teenager Aria Knighton is a national champion. 1974. He's running times that we simply have not seen from a 19-year-old before. His personal best is 19.4. He comes here and runs 19.72 with no help from the wind. And Fred Curley just edged out for the final spot. So that's Knighton's first US title. Christian Coleman led off the turn, but then look at the 200 meter veterans take over. These two have made the last couple of teams for the United States, and they will be on the team once again. Benarik, what can we say, Sonia? <laughs> when there is a championship and a team to be made, He's Kung Fu Kenny will be ready. Well, Aaron Knighton just broke the world under 20 record. Hard to believe that he's winning his first title, still under 20 years old. This young man has done everything right since going pro, leaving out of high school. The poise that he has, this is his first world title, I think of many to come, a true, true star in the making. Do you remember what he told Noel Lyles on this track last year? I'm not finished. <laughs> I'm not finished. Oh, and don't think he's started. finished for this year, too, because he is going to be a medal contender at the World Championships. All right, let's go trackside. Here's Lewis. All right, Aaron, what does a race like this winning in such dominant form do for your confidence as you get ready to go on the other side of the world and face the world? Um, it was a very good race. Came here and I executed right. My deal they had to do. These two men right here came. The deal they had to do. And we on the team, so we got us a good, we got us a good squad going over there. And hey, we're gonna try to make the same thing happen. Like last year, we're gonna get the sweep. Oh, he calling for the sweep. All right, Kenny. What is it about you and the big moments when there, there's a there's a team on the line where you just find a way to get there? Hey, I feel like I'm always an underdog, so I gotta prove myself every single year. And you know I me, mean? I trust my training. My coach, my support system, and I got it done. And I'm just glad to be on this team because this is the one, this is the, oh, I had to climb hills for this because I've been, I was injured for a month. So, you know, coming back, finally healthy, running the way I'm supposed to. So I'm happy to make this team. All right, and Courtney, for you, you had a breakout year at the NCAAs for Texas Tech. What does this mean to you? Man, this means everything. I pray for this, man. So coming out here competing with the best the best guys, you know, it was it was, it was tough coming out at the NC. So I just had to recover at the NCs and come out here and, you know, show them I'm a dog, so that's what I did. Well, you are on the team. We'll see you there. Appreciate it. Thank you. From the NCAAs to the World Championships, that's for Courtney Lindsay. How about Arian Knighton, the 